Money is a theme that appears in many of Shakespeare's plays. So let's take a closer look at how he dealt with money. In a way, Shakespeare holds up a mirror to us all and throughout his plays he shows us that having a lot of money has its benefits. However, sometimes the way people try to get that money can lead them into horrible situations. One thing that certainly hasn't changed since Shakespeare's time is that money still makes the world go around. And just as in Shakespeare's plays, money is a means of survival, but also a huge source of conflict. So it rarely ends well for any of Shakespeare's characters who are obsessed with money. Um, so for example, in The Merchant of Venice, um, there's the expression, all that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Many a man his life hath sold, but my outside to behold. Gilded tombs do worms enfold. Duke University even ran a course called Shakespeare and Financial Markets, which uses his plays to teach students about financial behaviour. You'll need to look at what's happened to the global economy recently to see the damage and mistakes that can be made by a selfish need to have more money. And neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan doth oft lose both itself and friend. Uh, I think what Shakespeare's saying here is basically don't borrow money from a friend or lend money to a friend as you might find that you don't get your money back and you lose your friend as well. Or even simpler, I think the message is just don't get into financial debt at all. Um, and in a modern world with people borrowing money all the time, I think that's a really, really excellent lesson that we can still take from Shakespeare's words. One of the um, scenes in Merchant of Venice is between two characters. One is Shylock, who's a money lender, and one is Antonio, who's borrowed some money from Shylock. But the deal is, if Antonio can't pay back the money to Shylock, Shylock will have a pound of his flesh instead. And a pound of his flesh is about half a kilogram of his body. <laughs> a pound of flesh. Remember that the next time you run out of money. It's clear that even 400 years after Shakespeare's death, he can still teach us much about life. 